So in um, in the one of the things that I learned once I realized that I had um, a permanent cognitive impairment, and um, in the um, in researching what to do about that, um, about the only thing they can do for it is there there are no drugs for somebody in my in my situation, um, and what they uh, but the only thing that they can do, the treatment is, um, the number one treatment is physical fitness. It is relaxation, um, low stress. Stress is a killer with cognitive impairment. And um, uh, social interaction and intellectual stimulation. And so um, I ended up going on claim on my long-term care insurance and uh, and the care plan that I've been on um, uh, is built around all those aspects. And um, the, uh, so I started working with a trainer five days a week at another gym, and then just had a feeling it was time to go check out the gym down the street and met Colin and um, uh, in your work. And, um, and it's, um, was just exactly what I needed, and um, they, um, it's helped me, it's not only helped me physically, when I came in I had hip problem, I had a hip problem, a shoulder problem, and a knee problem, none of which I, I have um, at this point uh, because of the work that, that happened pretty quickly within the first few months of healing the um, healing my body and knowing how to, how to, um, you've known how to work with my body without injuring it. Um, and the, um, the, the work that you do is, um, is medically based on dealing with my, my neurological system and, um, uh, which is the, when you have cognitive impairment, especially if you don't know exactly what it was, like in my situation, uh, exactly what what has happened, um, you know, uh, the that's what you do. You address the neurological system, and this has done an excellent job for me. So this is I go every day, and I I work with Colin um, uh, doing your method and. Um I mean, overall, the, you've mentioned that just the quality of your life has improved, um, right? I mean, don't you didn't you mention you just like emotionally feel better and? Um, well, I've gone. For, it's interesting because I've I've never. One of my other doctors would always talk to me about thriving, and I said I've never had that feeling of thriving. It's all been surviving because in my case, I've I've had this um, problem with the hole in my heart, and now I don't have the hole in my heart, but I have the cognitive impairment from the the complications mm -hmm. in the surgery. The, um, uh, and it's just been surviving. And it's for the first time in my life, I am thriving. I am able to uh, be optimistic about my future. Um, uh, even with the limitations, I'm doing things that I've never been able to do with my body. Um, I'm having fun in my body. I'm, um, I look great. Uh, Tuesday's my 60th birthday, mm -hmm. and I am, um, uh, I'm in the best shape I've ever been, and I'm learning to communicate with my body. And um, the, um, I, I'm not, the, one of the, um, my body and my brain have been kind of like, like, um, like twins, where one twin has always been the dominant twin, and um, and my brain was always the dominant twin, and and I actually went through a period of of um, of kind of an emotional unbalance, and then realized it was because my body was now stronger than my brain for the first time in my life, and um, and my brain was feeling the brain twin was part of me was feeling. Um, um, uh, was was having problems with that, and and 
um, just acknowledging that, understanding that that was going on, all the emotions that go on in a human being as you develop, whether it be whatever parts of you. Um, uh, you know, th that was a that was a, uh, an important moment. I've never had my body be stronger than my brain in, in all 60 years of my life, and today it is. That's awesome. And, I mean, I, I was really t touched by your response when I said, wow, you know what, you really have a great nervous system. You know that you said I was neurologically I was gifted. Neurologically <laughs> gifted is really more accurate, yeah. Um, because I just would never have envisioned that someone with the cognitive impairment that you have could do some of these, you know, complex exercises and so it's it's thrilling for me and I'm so happy to be able to to see that and and tell you that to give it actually gives you a better understanding of your your physical body and higher expectations. Well, and also for, feeling like a total person for the first time in my life. How can you be a total per, total person if you're not acknowledging all parts of you? Yeah. And I am, uh, you know, I'm just. It, it's it's incredibly exciting to be able to do this. So I was at a point where I thought my my life was just over in my mid-50s. And um, I lost my career because I could no longer work because of the cognitive impairment. And um, and uh, and this is actually, I call it, this is my job. I do this, I come and work out with Colin every day. Hmm. And it's, um, you know, how to be the, the best person that I can be with, with what I have. And then, but to discover things that I didn't even know that I had in me. I'd been ignoring mm -hmm. my body, and my body had um, had been uh, not ignoring me. Had been taking care of me in the in the background, evidently, all these years. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's um, you know I think we all have a lot of different people inside of us, and it's um, and it's and it's discovering all of those things within a, within us. Um, and there's nothing more exciting than becoming a, a, a more complete person. Yeah. Well, bravo. Thank you. Yeah.